Is this the house of Stella? It is. This is actually Tessa. <laughs> All right. So this is Stella that you can't quite see on camera. You'll see her in a second. This is a video. In this video, I show you how you can dog, get a dog to calm itself down and not jump up on Tessa. Now what I'm doing is I'm saying, hey Stella. I'm just right outside. I'm right outside of her reach. And I turn sideways. And I'm just waiting for her. I'm waiting for her to calm herself down. I'm not telling her to stop or to sit or any of those things. I want the dog to learn this lesson on its own instead of micromanaging the dog. You see the energy is a lot calmer. So now I turn to engage with her a little bit. She, the energy is nice. Yes. Oh. I don't like that. So I say I don't like that by turning away and stepping outside of her reach. The same thing would be for a jump. Or for a she doesn't like this. She's protesting because she wants to jump up on me. The problem is if, you have a, if your dog jumps up on a guest who comes in the door, that's, that's often the way dogs way of claiming the guest as their property or letting the guest know I am the top dog around here. So her energy now is a lot a lot calmer. It's not quiet yet, but we don't, care. we don't care about the barking. All we care about is the energy. A lot of dogs will start to sit themselves down. We don't tell them to sit. If they do, that's great. If they don't, all we care about is the energy going down. So now this energy is a lot calmer, so I can engage with it. And I go underneath, and that energy I was too So I call this light, light switch on, light switch off. Light switch on is doing this. It's as soon as she gets excited, I turn, I turn the light switch off by disengaging. So the idea for this is when you have family, family or friends, or the guardians who live here, to call or text each other because the dog doesn't know who is on the other side of the door. So then you don't have to film this, obviously, but this way the dog learns when I'm calm. When I'm calm, people are all over me. They're petting me like crazy. As soon as I get excited, they step out of my reach and they turn the side and they ignore me. I'm a dog, I want attention, and one gets attention, one does not get attention, so I'm gonna go with the one that gives me the attention and be calm. Now, right now, a little tip, Stella just went around the person so that he was, she was kind of dragging the leash around. So what you do is just kind of stand against the wall so she can't go around you, you don't have to worry about tangling up the leash. And give her a little bit more slack, there we go. A little bit more so she can come out here, there we go. All right, Stella. And I don't, and I'm saying that just to get, to get her in the shot. Normally you wouldn't interact with her or say anything. All right, so now she's nice and calm. So, and you don't have to crouch down like this. I'm only doing this to kind of get her more to come towards me. But again, any pawing, any jumping, any barking, the person turns to the side, ignores her, waits for her energy to come down on her own. Now I'm gonna give you a little bit of a bonus. She's a shepherd, so people don't do this very much with shepherds, but usually they go, oh, they freak out and that energy excitement causes the dog to get more excited and allows them to jump up. Right. We can train our dogs to filter that out. So normally when she comes over, I'm reaching like this very quietly. I'm not saying anything. I'm just trying to go underneath. After a while, I can go a little bit faster and go, oh, Stella, oh, Stella, oh, Stella, you're such a beautiful little girl. See how that made me excited? Well, if you go very, if you go very gradually, at first it's, oh, Stella. And as soon, let me, let me back up. The first lesson, we just want her to learn to be calm. And that's all we care about. Um, and as soon as she's calm, calm or calm and sitting, we turn and we engage with her. As soon as she gives us actions, behavior we don't want, we disengage. The, once you get to the point where you're doing that, that's when you would start being more excited about the voice and all the rest of that stuff. But again, with Stella, being a big dog, I don't think people are going to use that ridiculous voice. Well, this is Stella. And these are tips and tricks you can use if your dog, if your dog likes to jump up on people when they come back.